Hey guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Skype for the MacBook. Um, a friend of mine over in Singapore was trying to communicate with some of his friends and had a few questions on how to install, set up um, Skype for his MacBook Pro. So this setup should be relatively the same, even though it's Pro versus regular MacBook. Um, there are some other videos on YouTube on how to uh, download and install Skype, but that's pretty much where it ends. So I'd like to get into some of the settings and stuff and um, uh, try to get some more specific information uh, for you guys out there. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Go ahead and jump over to this extra screen. Apologize if I have a little bit of a lisp here, but I just had some major dental work done, so I'm still trying to get the swelling down. So the first thing you want to do is come over to Safari. And then you want to go up to your window here and type in Skype, S-K-Y-P-E dot com. Jump over to Skype. Sorry, I'm on my wireless. That's a little bit slow. All right, and then you'll come up here and choose Get Skype. And then come down here to Mac. And in order to download this, you'll need to log in. So if you don't have an account already, then you'll want to log in. Uh, sign up for an account, log in, and then it'll take you to this page. Click on Download Now. And I've already downloaded it, but I haven't installed it on this system yet. So once it gets to the download page, it'll start the download here. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this one. So right here I have it. So once it's downloaded, you will double-click. Oh, well, hmm. All right, so let me just go ahead and download. It said failed, I guess, because it's not mounted. So I'm going to download it again. If I have to, I'll edit out this part of the video to save you guys the time. Okay, so we're coming up to the end of our download, and it's just about finished right here we go. All right, so now that it's downloaded, you want to double-click on it. It's going to mount it to the desktop. All right, so you can go ahead and close your download window. And you can go ahead and close Safari here real quick. And we'll see that it's on the down, uh, desktop now. So what you want to do is drag Skype into your applications. It's going to take that into your application window. And then you can close that window and you want to go to your applications. Come down, make sure that it's here. Right here we go. And you can also drag this down to your quick launch bar right there. So we can go ahead and close this out. Now that Skype is installed, you can actually uh, click and eject it, the mounted volume on your desktop there, and we want to start Skype. All right, just choose Open here. And you'll want to accept the license. And then you'll want to type in your username. Of course, don't bother trying to contact me on Skype if you see my username here because I don't use it that much. Just doing this mainly for demonstration purposes here. So you'll go ahead and sign in. So here we have our settings, and um, you'll want to type in your name here, your full name, and choose your country, and choose United States here, and it'll ask you if you want to import your address book contacts, I'm going to choose no for now, and choose your state, and choose your city currently in Knoxville. Choose your language. So we'll go English. So most of the other videos that I found here um, didn't really have, it just showed the download and install. It didn't show all these settings and how to go through everything. I'm going to choose my gender as male. I'm not even going to enter my birth date there. You can choose your home page and put some about me information. It'll have your email address and stuff there. Um, don't bother emailing me. Contact me through YouTube, please. 
Um, you can change your default image, etc. Show your time zone, and then you'll want to choose apply. All right, so here's a contact that I probably won't ever be talking with again. Let's see, remove. Okay, so all right. Um, now you are in Skype and you can type in the Skype person's name, their phone number, you can set up your contacts by email address. So if you go into add a contact, you can type in the full name, the email address. Of course if they have Skype set up then it'll find them based on that and then you can add a name and phone number and stuff like that. So I still have my video glide capture. Let me go ahead and close down my camera on this side so I can bring it up on Skype. Okay, so let's see. Modify your profile, stuff like that. Contacts, make a call, you can set up chat with video and stuff like that. So here we go into preferences. Okay, under preferences, the main thing, you can go into audio and choose your built-in speaker. You can choose an external depending on what you have plugged in. And then under video, cameras in use by another application. Well, that's because I was using Video Glide. But right here, you want to make sure that EyeSight is selected so you can do video calls. Make sure Enable Skype Video is checked off. And uh, when I'm in a call, you can choose to start your video automatically or start it manually. You can automatically receive video calls from people in my contact list, anyone who I allow to call me or no one. And you can show that I have video to no one or people in your contact list. So these are the main key elements. You want to make sure that your audio is set up. You want to make sure that your video is set up. And then, of course, you can go into Advanced Features, pause iTunes during call. So keep call window in front, animation effects. These are all pretty standard. You can play with these, you know, based on uh, what your preferences are. And uh, check for uh, updates automatically. So just go through these uh, various different settings and choose what is best for you. Um, you know, notifications, play a sound when you sign in, stuff like that. So. The main two things you'll want are audio and video um, as far as that goes and anything else is kind of relevant to what you want to do. Um, so anyway, um, that's the basic setup and um, so what you'll want to do is go into add a contact and make sure that you enter the person's either their Skype name, the full name or their email address of the person who you want to add to your contact list. So for my friend Bear, he could add, you know, the name of the person, their Skype name, or their email address. So um, anyway, um, there's the basic setup, uh, functions and stuff like that. Just wanted to get a little bit into Skype and then preferences. And so those are the main two things you want to set up are audio and video. And that's something that the other videos lack. They just showed you how to download and install it. They didn't really get into any of the um, preferences or anything like that. So hopefully this video helps you guys out. Um, so if it does, please post a comment. If not, Pogue Mahone. And as always, thanks for watching Frank's Tech Help. And there you have the Skype setup for Mac. Thanks for watching.